Libra, oh Libra, what's popping, Libra gang? What's up, skills? How are you? What's going on in the life of a Libra? For well, really, from now, cause we late, late, late. Okay, <laughs> you meant to be mid month, but these are late July 2019-ish. What's going on with y'all? Hmm. Hmm. Are you in this space of balancing out a situation, finding harmony within the self, speaking, standing, meaning what the fuck you say, and actually <laughs> firmly planted in your truth? You holding your nuts, Libra man? You ain't got no nuts. Metaphorically, have some nuts. Hold, hold them. Are you holding your nuts, Libra? <laughs> Hey, boo, hey, if this is first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these coins say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing, because the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, okay? Sometimes I talk a little fast, catch up hot sauce, all right? As messages come fast, this will be from now to the end of July. For some of it, I've been noticing some of these readings have been rolling into August. Neither here nor there, y'all know what the hell I'm talking about. To uh, the new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're the dysfunctional. We don't fight a fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We grow. We share. We love. We enlighten. Posse vibes only. Y'all be here, all right? This will be for the uh, oh returning family members. Hey, I know y'all was finna cut me, huh? Y'all was like, Mocha, you not gonna make us wait another three. No, the hell I'm not because y'all asses send emails. This is an email from Libra. <laughs> Dear Mocha. <laughs> Praying that all is well and sending you love, light, and many blessings. Mocha, I've been going through some shit, though. And, you know, you've really gotten me through a lot of things. And just wondering if you okay. You know, and and, and, be, and pretty much y'all just kind of answer for me. Okay? Insert, insert, as if Mocha. And, because, yeah, this is what I need, Mocha. This is what I got going on. So where the hell is you at with the damn videos? Yeah, listen. So I don't I don't play with y'all. Y'all in Pisces. Um, and Cancer. I don't play with y'all like that. Oh, Aquarius too. I don't play with y'all like that because yeah, y'all y'all send a bitch an email. <laughs> so here we is. Here I go. <laughs> here I go. Uh, this re this message is not gonna resonate with everybody, you guys. Take what does leave the rest. The fucking shoe is too big. Don't try and put that motherfucker on. Yeah, it's gonna fall. Period. All right. That said, um, this will be for my summer rising Venus as well as the cross watches for the sign of Libra. Thank you all for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your readings, your comments, you guys. Just sharing your love and support with me. Thank you so very much. Um, I truly humbly appreciate it. I truly, truly does. I'm working on trying to get better with the videos, but uh, real soon I'm going to bring some news. It's not bad news. Like, Mocha's not quitting. No. <laughs> I just, um, I'm expanding and greater opportunities are opening up. So, with that said, it's just been interesting trying to get everything balanced trying to get over being sick it's been lit y'all but here we is so let's get it because i've talked my ass long enough you know aries we be talking all right this will be for the summer rise of venus as well as the cross watches for the sign of libra from now until the end of july if you need a personal reading that information can be found below within the description and also frequently check the, check the community tab okay let's get it so the intuitive messages that i got for you all for this month I got connectivity, divine interference, miracles, life cycle, past life, dreams, bargaining, hold on, bargaining with the heart, self-worth, secret plans, detaching from drama, Revelations, Narcissus, Mirroring, Evelation, I say Evelation, Elevation, y'all, Mercury ain't fucking with me, Stability, Rectifying Families, Standing Your Ground, Ancestral Cycles, Breaking Free, alright, so you guys, this is your message. And it's interesting because the overall energy around the reading is the Six of Clubs. Now, when I was actually meditating on the energy, I did feel the energy of breaking free and like breaking cycles. But I felt it was more so like even if you are married or in a connection, the actual 
codependency of the actual attachment in itself, I felt this harmony or this balancing starting from the internal space. And with that, with you actually manifesting that, well, not man, well, some of y'all is yeah, you manifesting that into your life. But for some of you all, with you actually becoming one and actually uh, really walking in the truth of your own autonomy, whether it agrees with somebody else's truth or not, you know, it's about you living your best life. And I feel like you living your best life for some of you all with balance, harmony, peace, structure, and equal give and take. Compromise. Okay? So some of you all could be trying to find fairness in a situation or find compromise around a situation where uh, you're able to be happy. And I feel like Libra's compromising uh, on the outside, but on the inside, it's all about me, 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 me. Forget about you, 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 you. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, the angel. I'm going to stop calling these damn cards angel messages. They ain't the angel messages. The crystal oracle message. Or the ring virtue crystal oracle message. Okay. It's crystal. For you guys, during this time, it's going to be tiger's eye. Okay. Says here, self confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. Okay? So I'm going to read oh, what the oracle says about this. I was actually picking up my tiger's eye and it literally fell in the book. So I'm going to hold this up to you guys. Oh, why I, um, oh, I read. Okay? Have you been doubting yourself, dear one? Because this card is a reassurance that God is working through you. Have confidence in heaven's unlimited ability to solve and heal anything and everything as long as other people's free will choices are aligned with God's will. Pray that your will will be aligned with God's and you'll be an unstoppable force of divine nature. Shift from worrying about whether you can do it to trusting that God working through you can do anything. Yes, Libra. This card is a sign that you're safe and protected as you follow your inner guidance to make positive changes in your life. Keep checking in with God every step of the way, and you'll experience the fast track to deep fulfillment. And that's ultimately what I felt for you guys. This is a tiger's eye, okay? That's ultimately what I felt for you all um, during this time. I definitely felt that you guys are going through an inner transformative period, and I feel like it has to do with your own inner peace, not allowing people to kind of get you off of your kilter, not feeling, not allowing people to project their confidence issue, issues or project their, um, their lack around opening up, their lack around the ability to love upon you or limiting, you know, the, the way that you love for that um, instant because there is that lack within the other person, but they still want you to fulfill things around it. I feel like some of y'all are really dealing with a very narcissistic energy, and I feel the energy of this, but Libra on the inside doing this, okay? Some of you all, yeah, there's definitely a focus around the heart chakra during this time. Some of you all could also be, um, like, and it's funny because I actually had on my tourmaline, um, uh, my tourmaline pendant earlier and right before I did y'all read I just felt to put on my rose quartz and so it's kind of interesting because yeah you guys um I definitely feel that with you guys going through this shifting with the heart chakra actually becoming one and I feel like this has to do with the divine masculine and feminine within self because you know we have divine masculine and feminine but we all have that aspect within ourselves as well so I feel that this is the alignment within the divine masculine and feminine within self but it's kind of like the wounded warrior aspect and that would make sense with Chiron and retrograde but I feel like you guys are finding turning your transmuting, uh, transmuting your pain into your power through heartbreak, through hurt, through trials, there's this period of reflection and realizing that some period where we feel, you know, the need to close our hearts or for that matter to be closed off to other people or not feel the safety in opening up if this is you with the closed off aspect of the heart. But I definitely feel like you're dealing with a situation, circumstance. Um, this could also be a job and your your pretty much your perception around the how other people perceive your loyalty for wanting to do something positive or do something to expand uh your soul for one expand on your path and for one for three with your damn for yourself for you you're the fucking empress and so because of that it's there's a need for you guys to during this time truly channel and go within listen to your inner self okay some of you guys some of you guys could also find some type of a uh, find 
be hearing a rock, well, be hearing y'all yeah, Mercury be fucking me up. Some of you guys could also be hearing positive news around something creative that you've been working on or some type of creative idea. Some of y'all are artists. Others of you want to actually open up some type of flower shop or some type of a floral. Some of you all could also be doing some type of um what is the combustion when you when you when you charge the plants or you test I, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's people who use crystals, kind of like the Seven of Pentacles card in the crystal um, in the spell castle tarot deck. You use the crystals to test to see how the grass is going to grow, connecting the crystals to the pure element, something to that extent, okay? Others of you, this has to do with an alignment of your chakras and all the, also others of you in alignment. Some of y'all are going to be dealing with the person. If this is a return, someone actually wanted to come back and compromise for you all, Libra, I have to dig in. But for some of you all, this has to do with someone wanting to come back and bring harmony into a situation. Where there was one selfishness closed off. A situation that made you completely closed off in the heart space as it pertains to love matters and receptivity, Libra. I definitely feel like someone wants to come back and fix it. Now, some of you all intuitively already feel this. There's a need for you all not to get, not to lose your damn shits and get off kilter uh, because you feel the intensity of this other person's energy. Uh, some of you all are also, uh, some of y'all making a plan A, B, and C during this time just in case shit get left. You already know how the hell you got to get to get right. Like, I ain't got time for that. I feel like Libra has this, I ain't got time for that ass attitude. Libra men, you're needing to, there, there's a sense of, and I, this could be for Libra women too. There's this aspect of feeling as if, like, you're not confident or there's a situation or circumstance or person that triggers you or makes you question your confidence. And there's a need for you all to release yourself from this space of feeling as if you have to settle for this situation based on life's perceptions around obligations and circumstances if you're not happy and if you're not being fulfilled. And I feel like some of you all are having, because immediately when I got in y'all energies, a few things happened. What I would do. I put on my little rose quartz. I felt that it immediately, but I also got hot in the pants. Now I know I don't know where the hell I think Mars is in Leo or some shit like my planet in Leo. So you know Leo, I, it was that was probably normal. But I didn't feel hot in the pants really when I was meditating on Sagittarius. So I when you know so I wait a minute you know. So because of that I was like wait a minute uh, Libra it's you the culprit. Okay, some of you all, I feel like there's a burning desire for someone, but there's also a fear around trusting this person with your heart space. And I definitely feel like this is that is what's going to be balanced during this time, or that could be what's taking place internally within you now. This this activation, someone's coming in to reactivate or activate your heart chakra, and for some of you all, the intensity of the connection within itself makes you question everything that you've already invested in and built. And so for some of you all, it's needing to make a decision. Do I keep investing in a situation where I feel as if I'm overgiving, even when it comes to the soul aspect, like I'm, I'm literally giving someone my power for this need to be validated, okay, by this person when this person, if you really step back and stop taking it so personally, where you're going to notice that this person has this inability to love because where both of you mirror each other, there needs to be this aspect of healing it. Actually dealing with the things that you've gone through and not using work or not using create creative um, outlets or, or hobbies or for that matter vices, you get what I'm saying, or addictions to mask that healing. And this is coming, I have a Libra rising and I'm an Aries, so it's uh, hell, but I got a Pisces moon. And it, it, it's, it's about mastering that of the self to know and to be able to distinguish between what is healthy, what can assist me in growth, and what will take me back, back down this path of continuously being triggered without a resolution of how we're going to heal this or for that matter feeling as if you need this person to help you heal when ultimately spirit is saying you're going to attract everything it is that you've been trying to manifest you've already pretty much opened up the damn floodgates with doing so which is why this opportunity is here within itself in the first place Libra. so you need to make a, a decision that is going to suit your highest self 
and the person, man or woman, you know, the emperor or empress, that you are literally creating the reality of the path in order to come. Starts with the cell. Starts with the cell. Alright, so let's see what's going on in the past years that I use when I say use these. Well, alright. Well, alright. So what messages do you have? My beautiful leaders. And love. Some of y'all are definitely some of y'all are having out of body experiences too, or you may be experiencing some type of awakening where you're learning that you can astral project. Some of you guys are kind of being uh, going back between the timelines between this life and another life. To some of y'all also may be very interested in assessing your Akashic records during this time, where it may be um, maybe you want to be someone who a lot of y'all are healers. Maybe you are even interested into um, ancient texts or, for that matter, assisting people. Like, if you want to do readings, I feel like someone wants to do something outside of the box, like past life readings or um, ancestral readings or astrology reading, birth chart readings, okay? There's this sense of this movement towards your path and where you're trying to go. It's kind of, it's, it, it's like a need to not pretty much surrender to the to the aspect of control around how things are going to go and only focus on what it is that you want to see only focus on your vision everybody got sight but 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 a true vision a true visionary understands that yeah it's going to be mundane things that happens around you but you also have to have that that's why you have to have that that art of mastery within yourself and this is where you are right now during this time i definitely feel there will be a, some there will be a shifting um around mid month august they're showing me, but I definitely feel that for some of you all, there's a sense of self mastery and trying to hold on to situations. Spirit just needs you to surrender, baby. Surrender and go within. No matter how much chaos and hell is in the external, it's finding that peace and trusting, trusting your internal voice, your internal nudges. Get it, spirit. Let's just see how you have to Libra, someone right with this as well as the cross watchers. Now to the end. Okay, all right, Libra. Okay, Libra. Well, all right, Libra. Hold on. Let's take what we got here. Okay, so Libra, first part that fell was the Ten of Swords. Okay. Others of you? I said others of you. The next card that fell was the Queen of Wands. Okay. So some of you all could definitely be dealing with the fire sign. It reveals that it's here. This could also be the person that is wanting to come back and offer love to you, Libra. This again, I felt the energy of somebody who hurt your feelings, broke your heart, or someone who caused uh, who you had to repair your confidence regarding. Okay, this person is wanting to come back, and for some of you all, you've been manifesting abundance. Spirit needs you to stop trying to control how it's coming. For some of you all, it's about taking a leap of faith, being vulnerable, okay? Some of you all um, are afraid of, some of y'all are very passionate, possibly regarding the fire sign. Strong Aries, strong Leo here. For some of you all, this has to do with the Gemini or Scorpio. I definitely feel the energy of someone who could have treated you badly with the magician right at the bottom. Others of you... Some of you all, if you've been trying to manifest, uh, like manifest your own business, Spirit is saying, go ahead, take that leap of faith. Don't worry about what you don't have. If you were trying to go into collaboration or go into partnership with someone, especially if this person was a was a mate or was a partner to you, or maybe you were trying to, because I keep hearing legacy, so maybe you were focused on building some type of legacy or that is your focus going forward. For some of you all, there's a need to take a leap of faith, but there's this fear around what could go wrong. For some of you all, there's this sense of confidence or self uh, element of self-sabotage, like this pessimistic attitude. This could be you or another person. For some of you all, you could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> I definitely feel like this person, there's a lot of passion between you and this person during this time, but I feel like someone, but some of y'all, this person could be wanting you to move in with them. And I feel like whomever I'm talking to for that situation, quit being so damn prideful because chances are you was trying to find a plan B. You was asking spirit for a way out. Here you go. And it is safe. It's fated for you to forgive someone, Libra. 
Yeah. Some of you all, this also has to do with someone um, possibly choosing to end the cycle. Somebody, someone's having to choose between possibly um, someone who they're very passionate about, someone who will require taking a leap of faith, okay, as well as some type of commitment. Some of y'all could also be dealing with the Taurus, okay? Some of you all, um, your partner could be needing to make a decision about where it is that they want to manifest their own fulfillment or vice versa. This could be you, Libra. All this damn major arcana. Libra, some of you all, yeah, some of you all are reconnecting with the soulmate. And I feel like there's this sense of, is it safe? Is it safe? Okay. Some of you all, this is definitely going to be after ending something. Okay. So for those of you who are there, you have entire moments and you having to release something. Some of y'all, either you or another person has to release a situation. And I feel like there's a need for it to have some type of clarity because the only thing that I noticed here, I have a whole bunch of major arcana, y'all, but I don't have a lot of sword. Okay. Damn it. As soon as I said it, I got the nine and the ten of swords. So I definitely feel like some of you are in this space of Completing a cycle, others of you, you've already completed a cycle. Possibly dealing with a soulmate. Some of y'all, this is definitely past life. Others of you, this could also be someone from the past. Yeah, this damn Gemini. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with an Aries person. And for some of y'all, this also is a, some of y'all, this could be a twin flame. For some of you all, if you're releasing a situation or a situation is being released from you, Libra, I definitely feel like it's setting you up to go into some type of alignment with either this past life soulmate, someone from your past who is still a past life connection, or someone who you could possibly have children with. I feel like, first off, the, the reconnection of you and this person if this has already happened, I definitely feel, I'm hearing for some of y'all, this is to come. Some of you all are dreaming about this person from your past. Some of y'all, you could definitely have children with this person. For others of you, you could be finding out that someone else has had children outside of the connection. Again, you was praying for a way out. Don't never say never, y'all. Be careful what you wish for. Some of you all, some of you all, yeah, there's a sense of wanting to start Start something new. Some of you all, there's this fear of rejection, okay? This could be with you or another person. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person, some of y'all could have actually met a new water sign after ending a cycle, possibly with a Leo, Libra. Let me say Leo, Libra, Leo, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius. Yeah. Some of you all, yeah, there's definitely communication coming in. Either you could be communicating with this fixed sign. That, hey, listen, I I, I want to be happy. I want the fuck out, you know. Or this fixed sign could be communicating with you. Someone is also tired of somebody giving half-assed love, okay. Some of you all who are dealing with a new water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, after ending a cycle, there's this fear around starting something new because you literally just got out of a situation. Spirit says, please take this leap of faith. This, the First off, the Ace of Pentacles and the Food part fell out together. Next to that, I have the Hierophant here. So definitely, some of you guys could actually be starting something new with the Taurus after going through some type of turbulent energy or some of y'all is making somebody put some respect on it. Like as soon as you try to walk away, now this person wants to come back and say, no, I know how to treat you now. But some of y'all are just really moving on with your damn life, okay? Some of you all, yeah, some of you all, you knew that someone was keeping something to themselves, especially if it involves another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, this simply has to do with someone opening up and being vulnerable. Someone was closed off to love, closing off their heart, closing off their heart. Um. Others of you, this has to do with someone actually finding out that somebody is a sneak. Is you a sneaky mother mother? I feel like someone is up all night. They're having a hard time sleeping, thinking about this decision that they need to make regarding another person. I got to clarify, y'all, because it's too many major. I kind of, I got the lover's card here with the magician. Some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Taurus. Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Le uh, I see a Leo, Cancer, Pisces, it shit everybody in the building. I don't see too much Earth here. Let's let's clarify. In fact, thank you, Spirit. See, I can use these cards now. If I can use them to clarify, thank you. 
Some of you all, you're dealing with an air sign in the past that had an issue with opening up to you. This person now wants to come back. Now they see you as their person. Now this person now knows that rejecting you was the biggest fucking mistake that they made. They had to get over there to see that they had fake ass grass. You're going into, there's, there's a renewal happening here for some of you all. So if you're already in a relationship, after someone stands their ground, and someone actually lets somebody know how they will not be treated and actually gets begin to open up. But I feel like someone wanted someone by somebody want to leave it to open up, but leave it like motherfucker. If I open up how I want to open up, I'm finna clear this bitch out. Okay? So I feel like you're keeping a lot of things to yourself during this time. Some of y'all are literally planning a secret move. Like somebody I see somebody coming home to I'll leave a shit gone and probably a dear John letter. Like, dear motherfucker. <laughs> Do you remember the times? Okay, Libra not playing. <laughs> Libra not playing shit. Why is the Queen of Wands here with the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, someone could, um, yeah, this could definitely have to do with the reconciliation, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with you receiving good news, you being able to celebrate a new offer. Some of y'all could have been looking for a location for your business. Others of you could have been waiting on the closing out of a loan or the closing out of a court case. Some of y'all could also be receiving some type of, um, if, if this is a family situation, someone wants to come in and rectify with you. I feel like someone wants to come to some type of negotiations in court. This could have to do with the mother or father of your children. I feel like leaving this person could really be in their head because they really didn't really know how to approach you at first so they took the leap of faith and the reason why you feel the intensity of the energy some of y'all you have a telepathic connection with this person others of you this have to do with truth coming out about um some type of third party or someone communicating with someone or reconciling with someone i feel like someone is getting ready someone is really in their head and finna get ready to pop and just i can't take it no more i'm out this bitch you know some of you guys are really feeling that that's the energy i feel i feel like you're very passionate about another person some of y'all i'm hearing slave to my loyalty some of y'all feel as if you're being a slave to your loyalty and there's this element of time as if you're feeling as if you're running out of time of some sort why is the food part here? Why is the food part here? Yeah, for some of you all, yeah, some of y'all could definitely be moving to taking a leap of faith, moving forward, just fuck it. You know, where I once felt as if I needed to be here to be that rock for, in a situation. I, I can't do this shit anymore. Some of you guys are moving. Your relationship is moving forward to new heights. Some of y'all, if you were just dating, some of y'all could also be receiving some type of engagement or some of y'all could also be having, if someone was acting funny, some of y'all have somebody planning some type of engagement party for you. Especially if you're dealing with another air sign, strong Gemini, strong Scorpio. Somebody want to not only reconcile with their family, but they want to come back and go to the courthouse fast. Yeah. For some of you guys, it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys, this could be if you're dealing with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, this person may need to make a decision between either two earth signs in yourself, or this could be an air sign, an earth sign, and a fire sign. I feel like someone has been trying to focus on work, but they still keep thinking about a particular situation and what could have been. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Ace of Swords? Some of you guys are going to actually open up to this damn cancer and understand that you have everything that you need. You don't have to be in this space. of This is your blessing. This is what you pray for. You are the magician. Some of you are uh, this new moon. Some of y'all could actually, whatever it was that you manifested, I believe, or whatever it is, whatever petitions or whatever um, manifestations that you put out. I'm here in Harvest, so some of you all are going to be reaping the re reaping the damn return of what it is that you put out, okay? For some of you all, it's new love. You actually being vulnerable, opening up to this new person who could possibly be a damn Aries, Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer. This person is coming through with with the fucking my first. I got two magicians with the magician and the lovers. This is a very alchemic connection, very abundant. Why the lovers here? Yeah, for some of y'all, this is someone actually coming in to make an offer. They don't want to move too fast. They want to show you. I feel like this person could have acted an ass before. It could have been very flighty. This person now wants to make you a solid offer. Some of y'all, it could be an earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. Why is the magician here? Sleeper. Yeah. A new beginning. New, new. We're going to leave it. We're going to call you new, new. For some of you all, Okay, some of y'all, this could actually be an offer in love. Someone wants to come in and transform a situation. They want to fix it, Libra. 
This person could definitely be a water sign who you hadn't had contact with in some time. I feel like this person, if you've been waiting on this person to contact or intuitively, you know this person was coming. I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. For, for, for some of you all, I'm feeling this person don't know how to come. I feel like there's definitely love in a situation, but someone doesn't really know how to express that love, even though they strongly feel it. I have the 10 of wands here. Yeah. Some of you guys could definitely be ending a cycle with the fire sign as well. Moving to calmer waters, you're just over the shit. I'm tired. I don't want to talk about the past. Let's just move forward. For some of you, it'll just have to do with someone coming in and you getting past the toxic issues and having the clarity that you need regarding some type of sneaky, deceptive behavior. And you guys forgiving, you know, kissing, making up, and moving forward in the situation. For some of you all, you could you could be resisting this person or this person could have resisted you. Or this person could be... um kind of holding back and being resistant towards the connection even though they're receiving all the same the signs and synchronicities and i feel as if their life they feel as if their life is stagnant until they come and close this damn cycle out so they really kind of resist in their own damn path from moving forward they their own worst enemy whoever this is this could definitely be someone who you have children with or who you're pregnant with now Someone could have also resisted some type of truth coming out of around the child that was conceived out of a third party situation that was only the catalyst the catalyst to release a person and move forward and focus on your goals and your aspects of things that you're passionate about. And for some of you all, this was a past life hurdle. Some of you guys are definitely, you don't know if it's safe to invest in a relationship with someone who you possibly have children with. For some of you all, even with your job, releasing, letting go was a past life hurdle, for, was a past life um, blockage for you. Okay, but definitely I have two world cards here, death card at the bottom of the deck with the sun card over here and the clarifying deck. Listen, Libra, listen, Linda, listen, we're ending cycles. It's inevitable. The divine has their hand out in it. So where there was once control, there needs to be a surrendering act and a speaking up and saying what you mean and meaning what the fuck you say. Okay, I definitely feel like some of you guys are going to be laying a situation to rest. Some of you guys are going to be healing situations. And some of y'all are going to move forward by your damn self and on your path of healing. Boom! Love, come catch your ass off guard and shake your world up, okay? So definitely for some of you all, this has to do with new love. But you having this old letting your past affect how you love going forward in the present. Or how you, will, how you love going forward in the future. Let it go. Forgive it. Surrender that fear to the most high, okay? Because I definitely feel like for some of y'all, this has to do with the Scorpio. And this could have been someone who made you feel less than, made you feel as if you were not enough. Some of y'all was even single parents because of this person. But some of y'all, what you don't know is that this person had an issue with opening up. But this person has been in this space of, and some of y'all is again, like a thief in the night. Bye. Yeah, it's going to find out when you get there. But I definitely feel like some of y'all are needing to make a decision whether you want to resurrect the family situation. If there was some type of marriage, some of y'all could actually be kind of questioning if you want to continue with the proceedings or do you want to make your marriage work? Because your partner then got smacked right, all right? So you guys let me know how this resonates. Some of y'all could actually be finding out that you're pregnant during this time or it could be stopping somebody else or somebody watching to see if you're pregnant or watching to see your new beginning. Some of y'all could be, if you've separated from a partner, this person could be seeing if you went back to someone from your past. So this person could be watching to see if you have a new beginning. So some of y'all definitely got a stalking energy. This person could be a Leo. But I feel as if some of you all, you know, you're watching another person because I feel like you're looking out to this new beginning, but you kind of on guard in your current situation for some of you all. I feel like Spirit is trying to move you to this ace of pills, which could possibly be with someone who you have kids with, who is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But others of you, it's a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Others of you, it's a damn earth sign. Strong Sagittarius vibe with this temperance. It's someone who couldn't balance making a damn decision. They didn't know who they wanted to This person is going through tower moments currently. This person is also going through an awakening as you are. And this person has had a realization moment. You are my baby. You, you baby. Okay? So you guys let me know how this resonates. I send you all love, light, peace, blessings, y'all, and namaste. And if you, need, if you need a personal, in the description below. Love y'all. Bye, babies.